Okay, hi. This is my uh, final year project using Connect to generate a natural user interface for a pre-existing game. This is my GradX 2013 award winning uh, FYP. I got first at GradX for this. Uh, and essentially what it is, it's Minecraft, a very stripped down basic version of Minecraft. The block world, the placing and destroying of blocks, and the moving freely around a 3D world. Combined with a natural user interface provided by uh, Connect to enable a larger audience of people to play. So removing that sort of controller keyboard element and enabling a more human friendly, natural way of uh, interacting with the game. So, as you can see, I'm moving around the 3D world. It's got full body motion uh, tracking, as you can see in the top left with my player. I'll just give you a little wiggle there. Um, I take a step forward with my right leg to move around the world, signifying a natural sort of stepping procedure as I'm going to walk without actually moving away from my static sensor. Uh, I'm using the hand as though I'm pointing on the screen instead of using my head because there's a static display that I can't look away from. Um, so, we're going to get started. Uh, the gesture recognition system is my own uh, creation and it's got the moment four gestures programmed into it. Uh, it's got the hand hammer gesture, the swipe, which I'll explain in a second, uh, which turns on speech recognition and turns it off, uh, the jump, which is just a simple bend of the legs and extension, and I've just jumped in the game world, and the step forward of the right leg. Uh, the gesture recognition system, I'll do a bit of technicality, um, is uh, an algorithmic approach, so it has four points, uh, three points in the gesture system it has to validate, the start of the gesture, the end of a gesture, and the middle of a gesture. Um, and I won't go into too much detail about that. But anyway, uh, so I can place blocks using my gesture system, the hand hammer gesture, uh, and then I'm going to turn on speech recognition now and do a bit of that. Connect, pickaxe, and now I can destroy blocks because I have my pickaxe selected instead. So it's very simple to uh, operate. The gestures are, this one's been a bit silly now, but uh, the gestures are very simple to do. A bit of tweaking is still required for it. Um, what else? We, the swipe that turns on and off these speech recognition as I showed, and I'll show you the menu system quickly. Connect, menu, connect, controls. Connect, back, connect, resume. And I'm constantly disabling and enabling the speech recognition just so that uh, it, does, it's, it doesn't pick up words that are being said in the background. Um, that's about it, really. Um, uh, if I wave my hand above my head, sorry, that's another gesture I completely forgot about, the wave gesture, I've enabled flight mode. So in Minecraft you have creative mode where you can freely move around the world without the use of uh, gravity. And it's a bit hard to tell because I've not got anything rendering in the distance, but I'm actually, if I stop now, I'm up above the ground. I've been flying by just using uh, where the camera look at is. And then if I turn off the uh, flight mode with another wave, I'll fall back down to earth. Nice and simple like. So yeah, that's my project. Um, if you've got any questions about my project, uh, or if you're interested uh, in giving me a job, you might have seen this somehow, I don't know how. Uh, please give me an email at ben.cadell at outlook.com and I'll be more than happy to explain the project further or accept any job offers you'll give me. Possibly. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, Connect Craft, we're going to shut it down. Uh, connect Menu. Connect Exit.